the name of your Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we remember St. Anastasius, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. Coming together as God's Father Conference this us and all for partners. I confess Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have seen my thoughts and my words, my heart and my heart. Through my work, through my work, through my most English work. Therefore, I ask as if I have ever purchased all the English to saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for you to the Lord our God. The Almighty God of mercy on us will give us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Almighty, our living God, who raised up Bishop Saint Athanasius. As an outstanding champion of the Son's divinity, mercifully grant that rejoicing in his teaching and his protection, we may never cease to grow in all of the love of you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people and elders and scribes, You step next people, answered from sight and heart and ears. You are always opposing the Holy Spirit, just as your fathers did before you. Was there ever any prophet whom your fathers did not persecute? And your day they put to death those who foretold the coming of Jesus of the just one. Now you in your own turn become his betrayers and martyrs. You who received the law through the ministry of angels have not observed you. Those who listened to his words were stung to the heart. They ground their teeth and eager at him. Stephen meanwhile filled with the Holy Spirit looked to the sky above the soul and the glory of God. And this is standing of God's right hand. Look, he explained. I see an opening in the sky and the sun man standing at God's right hand. The lookers were shouting loud, holding their hands over their ears as they did so. Then they rushed at him as one man, dragged him out of the city, and began to stone him. The witnesses, meanwhile, were feeling their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As a Stephen was being stoned, was named Saul. He could be heard praying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. He fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold his sin against them, and mean that he died. Saul, for his part, converting in the act of healing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yeah. 
into your hands I command my spirit you will reach in me O Lord O faithful God my trust is in the Lord I will rejoice and be glad of your kindness Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. You hide in the shelter of your presence from the plotting of men.
sadar. Kaya nga, yung patuloy namin yung paanyaya, pagkain na galing yung isa lamang. Hindi lamang po yung salita ng Diyos, kasama yung salita ng Diyos. Ang pagkain ng salita ng Diyos, pero hindi lamang yun, pati yung tinatawag po namin ang pagkain, generally, you know? And sacramentally, ay walang iba kundi ang katawan at dugo ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Kaya yun ang ibinibigay sa atin nung bingko, sabi ko nga ay para mangyari yun, ay ano, He has to break the bread. So, kaya nga ang sabi ko, ito, broken bread. At hindi lang po yung broken bread. Ano yung sabi ko? The broken God. Kasi hindi niya pwedeng ibigay sa atin yung tinapay na galing sa langit. Unless it is broken. It, it has to be broken to each and every one of us. Kinakailangan ang paghati-hatian. At para mapaghati-hatian, kinakailangan na ito ay hatiin ng Diyos. Hinati ng Diyos ang kanyang sarili para tayo ay makakain ng tinapay na ito na galing sa lahat. Sabi mo ay ang uh, katanungan lamang ay nagkawag pinaniwalaan natin ito. Nagkawag pinaniwalaan natin na si Jesus ang tinapay na galing sa lahat. Kasi kung talaga pinaniwalaan natin si Jesus ang tinapay na galing sa lahat. Siguro po ay dudumugin. Dudumugin ang ating mga simbahan. Sabi ko, hindi lang siguro every Saturday, kundi every day. Kaya yun, yun po nawa ang, ang medyo may pagpapigat na na hapon. Nainiwala pa talaga tayo na si Kristo ang pagkain na galing sa namin ay kung si Jesus yung pagkain na galing sa namin at ibinibigay niya sa atin sa loob ng mananapagdariwang ng misa, bakit tinatamad tayo magsimba? Bakit tayo tinatamad na magsimba? Ah, kung misa nga, may pamisa na. Ano? No? Alam niyo, sa kahit ako sa mga villages, sa mga villages, no, maraming nagpapamisa. Maraming nagpapamisa. Pero, yung mga nagpapamisa na yun, wala sa misa. May pamisa sila. Kaya nga sabi ko, ay, mas maganda, you bring your pamisa to the mass. Para makita ninyo na alin, ah, ito yung hinihandog ko. Bakit? Hinihandog ko kanino? Ah, sa pagkain na galit sa naman. Ang pagkain, higit sa pagkain na ibinigay ng Diyos sa mga Israelita na nagsustain sa kanila for 40 years ng kanilang paglakbay mula sa Egypto hanggang makarating sila sa lupang pangako. Yun lang kasi yung pagkain ay binigay sa kanila ng Diyos, yung mana na galing sa langit at yung mga ibon na kumisa na ipinatadala ng Diyos. So, ganun katindi yung tinatawag po natin pagkain na galing sa langit. 
it has physically sustained the Israelites so that yung kanilang kasalukuyang tinabibilangan bilang mga itinuturing ng mga anak ng Diyos na diyan ngayon na nakarating na sa lupang pangako ay makamtag nila. So, kaya po, ito yung malaking hamon. Malaking hamon. Ang talagang po yung malaking hamon. Ako, particular room, bilang pare, ano yung malaking hamon? Tinuturuan kaya natin ang tao na talagang paniwalaan na si Jesus ang tinapay na galing sa namin. Have we done enough? O basta may pamiso na lang kahit na wala yung tao. Kasi kung minsan yun ang dumarap yun. Eh. Pamiso lang yan. No. Nandun yun eh. Yung sinasabi na si Jesus ng pagkain na galing sa nami. Tinatanggap mo ba si Jesus ng pagkain na galing sa nami? Ay kung hindi nagsisimba, papan nila matatanggap ang pagkain na galing sa nami. So, wala. Walang kwenta yung pagkain na galing sa nami. Bakit? Hindi tinatanggap ng tao. Bagamat na dyan yung pagkain na galing sa nami ay hindi nakikita ng tao. Kaya, yun po nawa yung makita ko natin. No? Kaya kung minsan sinasabi natin, ha, si Jesus ang pagkain na galing sa namin. Wala naman nagsisimba. Eh, wala. Kaya sabi nga po natin, isang patuloy na hamon na makita ko natin kung Uh, bahagi ng pagkilos na kung hindihan po natin ay, ay makita. Alam mo, kung misan uh, na napupula ko, no? dumarami ang tao kapag ano, pagkatapos ng linggo, pagkatapos ng bagyo, itingan mo, pagkatapos ng, sa linggo na yun, marami ang tao. No? Doon nila na nakita na kailangan ko ang Diyos. Eh, hindi. No? It is an outside force. Tapos makita natin na, ha? Ah, is it, ito yung pagkain na galing sa langit. Na hindi lamang dapat nahanapin natin for extraordinary events. Dapat linggo-linggo. At sa ating mga yun, dapat na pagkusin sa ating awal ng mga labi ng pati mga yun, araw-araw araw-araw. So, pero ito yung pagnanamin mo natin. Kaya, huwag ko kayong mahiya. Kung kayo mga lolo, mga lola, mga nanay, mga tatay, na makulitan ang inyong mga anak, ang inyong mga apo, sa inyong pag-aanyay na magsimba pag-araw na linggo. Dali, na, Maka, para ano? Makatagpo ninyo ang Kristong puling na buhay. Ang pagkain na galing sa langit. Kung isang sabi ng iba eh, Father, kasi ngayon mong magsimba kasi may kita ko din yung kaaway ko. Eh, hindi naman yun ang pupuntahan mo eh. Sino pupuntahan mo? Ang pagkain na galing sa langit. Ang pagkain na galing sa langit. Nasaan ba yung pagkain na galing sa langit? Nakikita ba ng tao? Binabaliw ba ng tao? Binabaliw ba ng tao? Kaya ngayon yun ang presa na po ang um, patuloy natin pa niya. Bagamat siguro po kayo nakukulitan sa akin, pero kinakilangin, kulitin niyo rin ako. No? Kulitin niyo rin yung tao. No? Kasi iba o, iba, iba ang talagang makita ko natin. Ay nasabihin mo na alam niyo ang kumisa, ah, kumisa sinasabi ng iba, gusto magpaskil niya ng dress code. Okay rin yun. No? Pero sa akin, kahit hindi ka nakadress code, just go to mass. No? 
Just go to mass. Kahit hindi ka nakadress code. Pero kung misan, huwag yung papagalitan yung ibang tao na hindi nakadress code. Bakit? Ang mahalang yung nakita niyo ulit, pupunta siya simbahan at nagsimbah. Yun ang nawa ang makita ko natin. Para rin, makatagpo sa Yesus. Kung minsan ang binitingan lamang natin ay externalis. No, hindi. Kinakailangan rin. Kinakailangan mapalapit natin ang tao kay Yesus. Bakit ba natin pinapahayos yung ating glory? Hindi lang para mapaganda yung ating simpan. Para rin, mahanyayaan natin yung tao na rin. Ah, dito kayo sa mimba. Bakit? To encounter the bread that comes from heaven. Para makamit ng tao ang tinapay na galing sa lahat. Pray, bread and draw sacrifice and be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of His holy church.
Do ko, Lord, upon the offering as we present to you in commemoration of Saint Athanasius, and may witnessing to your truth bring salvation to those who profess as he did, and unblemished way through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in the time above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed to Him, the children of light rise to eternal life in the halls of heaven and kingdom, are thrown open to the faithful, for His death is our ransom from death, and is rising from the life of all as risen. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you things, he said the blessing. And gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith.
Therefore, all of those who celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, His wondrous resurrection, ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving, this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by your state, you will to reconcile us to your sin. Grant that we who are nourished by the body of God of your Son, and filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, with your blessed apostles, Saint Boris, Martyrs, Saint Martin, and with all the saints, for whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing you. By this sacrifice of reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, that advance of peace and salvation of all the world. To be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servants, Francis, Benaventura, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of his family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, my simple Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are busy to you, either passing from this life, you cannot meet and see your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, to whom you restored the world, all that is good. Through him and with him and in the name of God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, your glory and honor is yours forever and ever. as a bread coming from heaven. graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy you may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord 
said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, for in the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace in the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
please let us all kneel for the prayer against the death penalty. Father, source and giver of life, we leave our hearts and voices to you. Help us to build a society that truly chooses life in all situations. Let our response be, Lord, heal our pain. For those experiencing pain and anguish because of violence and crime, for perpetrators and victims of atrocities who both struggle with anger and hatred, for our broken world and chained by the desire for revenge, for our wounded society misled by the illusion that one must take life in order to defend it. Let us say together, help us to make peace. For our country tempted to accept violent revenge, for the conviction to recognize and uphold the dignity of all people, for the wisdom to see poverty, injustice, and lack of educational and employment opportunities as likely causes of criminality. For guidance and compassion in addressing the pain of both victims and perpetrators of wrongdoings. For the fortitude to find solutions that protect the dignity of all people and bring about through reconciliation. For the inspiration to renew society on the basis of love and restorative justice. Let us pray. Father of compassion, you let your rain fall on the just and the unjust. Give us a heart like yours, so that we may love as you love. 